Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Fire Ash. Last episode, we made our way to Miss Stralton City. Apologies to the abrupt end in last episode. Not entirely too sure what happened. Um, just kind of went for the cave and then kind of just ended the video halfway through it. So uh, we made our way through the cave, got to the city. Not too much happened. But I can't get Pablo out of the water. What do I do? Uh, he's out of the water, dude. He's just legging it. <laughs> All right, let's go explore the city. But Scala does air battles to save time. She just runs the outcome in her head. Oh, okay. Not too sure an air battle is, but sounds interesting. What have we got in here? The move maniac, okay. And I'm guessing you'll be the move deleter. Yeah, move deleter, okay. Alright, let's go check out this house and then maybe go to Scala. So this is where we store the cargo that goes in and out. Here's an extra that won't be shipped. Why don't you take it? Oh, sharp beak, thank you very much. You know what? That isn't actually too bad. I'm gonna put that on in pheasant. Sharp beak and pheasant. You got XP share. Ooh, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll switch that because then I can put XP share onto Scraggy, Lucky Egg onto Boldor, and we can lead off for Boldor. Oh, what's going on here? So good timing, Ash. I've just found out about Scarlet's air battles. As a gym leader, I cannot stand the tactics she takes with challenges. I challenged her myself over this, but lost. Perhaps if you battle me, you can show her the same spirit you showed me. It may get her to take you on for real. Uh, yeah, sure. Now, now that we're ready, prepare for a delectable battle. Okay. I think it sounds like the air battle uh, people were talking about. Let's uh, switch and we'll go into a pheasant. And say it should be really easy to beat. But let's see, go on. Hit as many times as you like. It does five damage. Let's go for that nice little air slash. Bam! Critical hit as well. Don't think we need the crit, but it's always nice to get it. And a crossle. Uh. Honestly, I do not like battling crossles. Kind of annoying. We should be fine with Scold. Get the burn. Oh, no burn. It's fine, it's fine. Our last Pokemon, what you got? Stunfisk, oh, okay. Uh, I guess we can stay in. Ground electric first, ground water. <laughs> hey, we got the burn. Oh, you went for Mug Bomb, okay. It's fine. What should we go for to finish you off? Uh, let's go Scraggy. A little bit of experience for you. Didn't burn me, that's good. And he's probably stunned this can learn uh, Scold. But wonderful, that should show her. Does it? So now that you've seen Ash's battle style, do you think he deserves a chance to battle you for real? I admit, Ash has talent. I suppose I'll do a real battle with you, but I still expect to win based on my air battle prediction. Meet me inside whenever you're ready. Okay. Let's get healed up first and then we're ready. Okie dokie. I've got to say as well, uh, someone left a comment on the first episode of Unova and told me that the reason why we see Zekrom and Ash loses to um, the dude with the Snivy is because when Ash arrives at Unova, like, Zekrom resets like Pikachu's like electric abilities, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, if I was Ash, I'd be kind of annoyed, but... Ooh, actually, that hits you as well. Uh, let's just switch out. Uh, go Pikachu for this, just because it'd be a lot easier. But yeah. That's why we see Zekrom. Makes me think we'll see a rush run later though. A rush run or Zekrom, which one do I like more? Mm, you know what? It's kind of hard to say, I like them both. But I think I'm... God, I don't know. I think I'm leaning more towards Zekrom. Used to be a rush around guy, but I don't know. Zekrom has grown on me a lot. Especially since they Poker Park games as well. Pretty, pretty cool in there. But, uh, Sigalic from Wubat. Thunderbolt, and let's just go to Slash. To just like destroy everyone in this gym. But after this, I'm gonna switch and lead off with Baldor. Just so it's new, it's not super easy because Pikachu is obviously gonna just destroy everyone. Probably for a very long time. Unfortunately, Pabato doesn't evolve, which sucks. I would love for it to evolve, but more double battles. Uh yeah, these two will do. Alright, stay grounded. Don't fool. I think I'll be fine. What have you got for us? Zubat and Pheasant. Go for that rock slide. Hit them both. And Air Cutter finish them both off, hopefully. Oh, Air Cutter goes first. Ooh. Pheasant almost dying in one hit. I'll take that. I'll take that. Let's just go to Power Gem. Air Cutter. Ooh. Easy. So far, so good. Hey. 
Fezzing level 35 as well. Oh, okay. I was going to think we wouldn't have to worry about Baldur trying to evolve because that's got to be traded, but... Man, I, I wish Ash got Gigalith. That would have been so good. I love Gigalith as a Pokemon. I just think it looks so sweet. It's unfortunate if Ash doesn't get one. Otherwise, I'd be evolving that bad boy right now. <laughs> uh, Tranquil, that's not just going Power Gem. Oh, where's my attack? Now we get through the confusion. Nice. Okay, now it's time for Skylar. Do you hold enough promise? You better prove my air battle wrong. Okay. Uh, and Pheasant. Pikachu just in case. Let's do this. I'm just going to assume her air battle, she was like, oh, yeah, I think I'd win the battle, so, yeah, you can't challenge me because, you know, you don't get a badge because you, you won't win. Let's just go Stone Edge. And you got the flinch, you suck. Okay, I'm going to heal up. We're fine, we're fine. Swanna, oh, yeah, I'd definitely switch out. Let's go Pikachu for this because Swanna would be a pain in the butt to beat otherwise. Nice cheeky little Thunderbolt. Pheasant, Un Pheasant versus Un Pheasant. Let's see who's better. Let's go Air Slash. Nice, got the flinch. Woo, mine's definitely better. Didn't even take a hit. Woo, <laughs> Oh, that's so good. So don't believe it. You actually beat me. Even though my air battle said you would lose, I guess air battles are not perfect. You've earned the jet badge. So if she was given badges out just by the basis of, you know, her air battles, I wonder how many trainers got badges that didn't deserve badges, and how many trainers got didn't get badges that deserve badges. Man, that must be a lot. I'd be I'd be well annoyed if I was like, you know, didn't get her badge, and then just because she was like, yo, you can't beat me, so you're not gonna get a badge, and you can't even prove it. All right, what are we doing around here? Uh, let's go over here. So, have have any game? I think so. Also, this route we're on right now, it always has like a little place in my heart because I, I don't know I can't remember if I've ever found a shiny Pokemon in Gen 1 to 4 because that was so so long ago and I just I cannot remember I feel like I did get a shiny in um Gen 3 but I, I, I just can't remember but the last my first shiny I can remember ever getting was in black and white one on this route was it this route or the next route I, I think it might have been the next route no no it was this one if you can get a watch hog in this route or the next one Actually, no, was it? No, yeah, I wasn't playing a randomizer. Yeah, that's my, that was my first shiny. I did remember I used a, um, what should I switch, I'm switching to here? This is kind of annoying to be, um, let's go in Pheasant. I did remember when I, it wasn't my first time playing Black and White, I think it was like a, my second or third time playing, but uh, I used my friend's action replay just to give myself the six Pokemon I wanted to use in my playthrough at the very start so I could just play through the game having, my, you know, the team I wanted. So I found that shiny, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to use it ever, but... <laughs> I think I gave myself a Litwick, a Axu, Corniard, Zora. I mean, two more Pokemon I can't remember I would have picked. But I definitely used them four. Just come with the first turn. I might have had a starter Pokemon as well. Used my starter and then one more. Which, yeah, I cannot remember. But the Mistraden Tower is nearby. Okay. Forgot there was a tower nearby. But Mulga for Baldur. Now we're good. But we already have a Baldur. <laughs> uh, what have you got for us? Minchino! Uh, let's go Stone Edge. Oh, you're not a good Minchino. You ain't got skill link. You ain't hit him five times. Oh, but we're missing two Stone Edges. Whew. Sometimes I just think like... If I go for Stone Edge, I'd probably one-shot the Pokemon, but if I miss, it would have been better just to go for like a Power Gem, play it safe. Like this. I'm probably going to die here anyway, let's go for Restore. Yeah, if I go for Stone Edge, I'd definitely kill it in one hit, but if I miss, then like like two Power Gems would be enough. But we're good, we're good, we landed. It's the risk you play. Sigalith. Just go Power Gem, play it safe, go for Reflect, that's absolutely fine. No! Oh, so I'm gonna live. So we're Finish it off! That's an air slash. Got on some different roof now. We still got growl on some pheasant. <laughs> Hopefully we can learn like Brave Bird or something. Ooh, 
some items there. So you hear about the tournament? I did not. What tournament? I'm down for a tournament. What tournaments? Especially in the anime, because they're actually pretty fun. Well, in this game, you know, going off the anime. Although, I guess, depends how far Ash actually makes it, because we could do well in the tournament, but story-wise, we could just suck and <laughs> get kicked out. <laughs> uh, Ducklet, we will just stay in, I guess. Like, I like the Pokemon, I just wish I could fully evolve them. Because out of everything I remember for Ash's team, I think Unova, even though my favorite region, I think team-wise is my least favorite team Ash has. I think, I'd, I'd probably say Gen 6 or Gen 4 is probably my favorite he has. He's got some banging Pokemon Gen 4 and 6. In Gen 6, I don't even remember all of them. So remember the Talonflame, the Ash Greninja, I mean, you can't not love Ash Greninja. Uh, Noivern. Uh, what else does he get? Gudra. He gets Gudra, right? Ah, oh, Litwick. I love Litwick. Tendril is such a cool Pokemon. Right, I'm gonna pop a repel so I don't have to worry about 20 million encounters and we can just go focus on taking on the trainers in here. So where's my repels at? There you are, 94 left. Hey, oh, you ready for this? Uh, I think so. Are you ready for this? Swadloon, oh, you ain't ready for this. Bringing a Swadloon into a, uh, a battle against an pheasant? Yeah, not good for you. So. Do you know who I am? I do not. Who are you? You're challenged by Pokemaniac Dude. Uh, I don't know who you are, dude. Should I know who you are? Let's go Palpatoad. Hopefully take the electric attack. Yeah, you're gonna hit me with that shockwave. Although well, that acrobatics does a lot of damage. I really don't like how Emolgas always do so much damage to me. Always. Oh, snap. Okay. Four seven levels higher, I might outspeed you, but I know Morgas are fast, but oh, just four seven levels might be enough. Alright, all good, all good. Give the experience. Hey! Oh, we can get our uh, Emble now. I mean, we're not gonna get Emble because Ash doesn't get Emble, unfortunately, but if we want an Emble, we can get an Emble. The flamethrower. Get out! Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Ooh. Okay. So here for your wish, ooh, yes, I'll take a wish, and a slash, and super luck in the what is the ability super luck? I honestly don't have ever seen that before in my life, and I probably have, just don't remember it, but I need to, I need to see what it does, so it sounds kind of cool, super luck, I would love some super luck. I'm thinking it's got to be something to do like critical hits, right? Increased chance of crit? Well, that seems like super broken, but we'll see. Heightens- oh no, yeah, that is what it is. Heightens the critical hit ratios of moves. That's actually kind of awesome. Uh, I'm getting really weak, but what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? Your mask. Let's just uh, keep air slashing. Love this battle news from revives and potions and whatnot. Oh, you missed the Mega Punch. Sucks for you. <laughs> Alright, so what we got here? We got Hyper Potion. Nice. Let's get everyone alive. And then... Where's my... I got eight rare candies. Nice. When will I use the rare candies? I don't know. When I feel like I need to use them. Right now, I feel like I'm probably a little bit over-leveled. Just a little bit. Double battle coming up? Yes! Try and stop me. I'll try. Delusion and the shot. Okay. Let's go scold and air cutter. Not bad, got that crit. Nice, and another crit and a burn. Let's go. That was really nice. Woo! Let's go, man! And the pheasant's so good. I feel like now that I know it's got super luck, I'm getting more crits. <laughs> Papa told. Oh, as much as I want to, and I would love to have like Gigalith, 
It's crafty, emble. So good. Be actually kind of, not want to say unstoppable, but would be, be pretty hard to take down. Compared to now, where we're just, uh, you know, we battle someone that's like fully evolved, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. This thing, oh, pretty quick hit, nice, but this one's taking hits really well. Like, crit really just speed up the process of taking you out. Thank you very much. Alright. Uh, got loads of items to get. So my wish! It's making me think like Jirachi will be at the top of here. <laughs> oh, is this something to do with, um... This is like wishes. Isn't the Gen 5 anime like Pokemon best wishes? Or is that like a special? I have no idea. Like, I definitely doubt Jirachi's gonna show up. A bit weird for Jirachi in Gen 5 episode. This and then this. Nice, give me all the free stuff. Free stuff is best stuff. Woo! Any more? About you. So I'll be the first to get to the top of my psychic abilities. I don't know if you're standing here. The stairs are literally right there. Just walk up, mate, and then you'll be there. Scold got the burn. Nice. I mean, ah, oh, synchronize. I said, burn's not going to matter too much if you have a special attack, aren't you? But it's fine. Power gem. Ooh, you're doing damage. Oh no. No, I should have like stone edge. It's okay. We came close, but spell tag, sweet. Hey, you're at the top. So you went to the top. You can make a wish, but I've already got it ready for you. Oh. Oh, thanks. So he made my wish be I get payback. Yay, that's definitely what I wanted. Not. I forget what I said before. Oh yeah, like I said, if I um, had a wish, what I wish for? I think I'd wish for immortality or lightning powers. Oh, what's this? Oh, fungus. I got me, man. He got me. Nice. I'm gonna hope this house right here is gonna be a place to get healed up. Please, 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 heal me up, heal me up, heal me up. Come on, old lady. Legendary Pokemon Tornadus and Thunderous have been fighting for ages. Thunderous always has to stop them. Okay. Uh, don't think it'll be easy. Okay. Well, it's not going to be easy because I'm not fully healed. If it was fully healed, it'd be super easy. You got lucky that old lady didn't want to heal me up. Because if she did... Whew, I'll be air slashing your butt right now and then I'll be you know, a little bit quicker. Although that still does a lot of damage. Nice. So don't worry, I'll go easy. Thank you. See, this lady knows. I'm a bit weak, you gotta go easy on me. Although I guess I am like a lot stronger, so probably not too easy. Uh semi poor, that's fine. Let's go air cutter. Oh, close. No, the burn! Oh no wait, air cutter's uh, special, isn't it? That's fine, that's fine. Or switch out still. Crunch, yes please, gonna get rid of payback. I know you can do this. Just a few flamethrowers. Flamethrower. One more. I'll get through the swagger, get through the swagger. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, I'm getting so lucky when it comes to getting through the confusion today. PP, what's down here? Oh, what's this? Club Splosion? Uh, hi. So welcome to the club explosion. Would you like to enter this year's prize as a set of vitamins? Uh, sure. All you have to do is get to the other side of the room while beating the trainers. Grab the vitamins to win. I... Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what I should be using here, but we can probably just like easily get through. Oh no, we missed the attack. You suck. It's fine. No, just go pig knight. I see Pikachu can probably just like destroy this whole place. Not too worried. Like, it's not as bad as it was when we did tournaments like this back in Kanto, like, early Johto, when Pikachu wasn't that strong. And we can actually lose, but now... Fine, I feel like they're gonna all use the elemental monkeys. Yep. Ooh, sucks for you. 
<laughs> I wonder if we get Pikachu to 75. I feel like it's going to be a little bit off. Just a little bit. Oh, what? No, you can't have this. You've got to have an elemental monkey. Can't we about them Simi Sage and Simi Port and not have Simi Seer? Poor Simi Seer getting left out. Oh, look at all the, uh, the vitamins, though. Nice, nice, nice. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. All right. Sweet. So let's go back. And then we'll just, uh, this way. Hi. Do you want to follow tradition and enter the club explosion with a fighting type? Oh, were we supposed to enter a fighting type? I mean, the first two Pokemon we battled were not a fighting type, so... <laughs> It will be fine. Does oh no yeah Ash doesn't have a fighting type. I say does he even have one with Scraggy? I'm, I'm gonna assume he enters Scraggy into that tournament then. Maybe. Also on the console, let me know. Scraggy wants to evolve now. Sweet. We've got another case. Are you prepared to traverse the mountain? Ah, uh, you know what I am. It's one of the reasons like I really like Unova. Just like, after you defeat Clay, you go for that little foresty bit, which has like uh, that cave you can't, I think you can get to right away. I think you need Surf to get to it. And then you get to um, the actual cave, Chargestone, Chargestone Cave, where like stuff happens in there. Then you get to the sixth gym. And then obviously Black and White 2, you can take the plane to the, uh, the other place. And then you've got this route, you've got the tower. You've got another cave to get through, which is like a, a, like a mining cave sort of thing. Like Twist Mountain, it's, it's like so much to explore. Like, I, I really like the uh, Unova as a region. That's so fun. Oh, wrong move. That's fine. Ooh. I'm just gonna be using Pikachu just to get through here until we can get to that Nurse Joy. And once we get to that Nurse Joy, everything's gonna be good. Also, I'm gonna teach. Uh... Actually, first of all, I'm gonna save the game because it's been a while. I wanna teach um, and Pheasant that Hurricane we just picked up. That would be nice. Get rid of Growl. Uh, yeah. Wait, did I just pop a repel? Pretty sure I did. <laughs> uh, we bet that's fine. That's fine. I don't know how to get through Twist Mountain, so getting to this Nurse Joy Lady is going to be potentially a struggle. It'll be really easy. We'll find out soon. Surf, nice. Go through here. Gonna be a lot of trainers this uh, this episode. It's fine by me. We're getting strong. Also, I asked the question like, what's how does like the black and white two game like the new new bits like kind of factor into the anime? Someone told me they Ash takes on Roxy last. So the seventh gym here. It could either be uh, what's his name. Bryce? The, is it Bryce the ice guy? I feel like it is Bryce. You got Price. Br Bryson? No. Bryce. I think it's Bryce. Anyway, you got the ice guy. Drayden slash Iris, which I assume would probably be Drayden. Uh, oh, the water Jimmy that's in black and white too. Yeah. I doubt it'll be Sharon, so we've done the normal type Jim. I don't even remember if Sharon's in the anime. It's kind of cool, like how the anime just, you know, there's, what, 10, 11 potential gym leaders? If the anime was continuing before, like, you know, it, um, when Black and White 2 kind of dropped, you know, I'm not sure how far in it was. We shall see. Duosion. Let's go Thunderbolt. Woo! And Mishrana, let's go Thunderbolt. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Hey, oh. So get in the zone. What zone? What are you on about? I don't know. These Pikachu's having a great time. So, I feel like we're getting further and further away from the Nurse Joy. I just want to get healed up, man. <laughs> I need the PP. That's the issue right now. Running low on PP. 
So we've got all the trainers in the tournament, on the route to the tournament, and the, and the tower, in the tower, this Twist Mountain, about a single healer. We're just a little bit weak. Now I probably should take an XP shot off Scraggy because it's getting uh, <laughs> a little strong. It's gonna, yeah, take this off for now. I'll try Pig Knight for a little bit. I know you ain't got much PP left, but now you got arm for us. We can battle some right. We right battle the right Pokemon. We should be fine. That's a big if. Oh, I think the Nurse Joy's just after this dude. So I'm here to raise my spirit. All right, let's raise that spirit. Psych, we're gonna bring it down. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, uh, full restore. Bulk up, that's fine, because we have a special. Although, you do a lot of damage. Man, you suck. All right, come on, Scraggy, you can finish it off. So he brick breaks me, maybe I can brick break him. <laughs> That's not the case. Oh, let's go, Pikachu. We've got this. Nope, wait. No. I think she's next. If we go out and come out from the other side, we should be there. Got an item. Metal coat, sweet. Wait, there we go. Finally. We're looking good now, we're looking good. What does this take us? Oh, Jesse and James. Finally, we can grab all the Pokemon we want without anyone stopping us. Seems like dreams do come true. We two focus, this is for the boss, not some vacation. Keep searching. Looks like our dream is on hold. Oh, yeah it is. Oh, what you got for us, Woobat? I suppose I haven't evolved yet. Keep going stalled. Nice, got the burn the burn should finish it off, nice. And then, yeah, Mask, we can stay in. Just keep going for our scolds. Oof. Keep going, and one more. No! Oh, you're taking me out. It's fine. Uh, we'll go on Pheasant. And um, might get 40. No, I think it's a bit too far. Close, close. All right, so if this is the way to go. Actually, while we're here, let's just go back and get healed up. I want to go the wrong way so we can grab all the items. And we don't want to miss any events, do we? Because missing events would suck. Right, scold. Oh, I've got the burn, that'd be nice. Only two times. Any more, that'd have been annoying. <laughs> Extra draw, yeah, that's fine. Just keep scolding. Get the burn, it's over. Oh, I die. No! Man, the burn would have saved us. The burn would have saved us so much. Why can't you miss the Crush Claw a second ago on Papa Toad? That would have been... Oh, that would be nice. But no, you had to land it. Alright, Ultra Ball. What's in here? Uh, I'm something maybe this is the way to go? Is that a dead end? Yeah, so that's a dead end. Oh, Star, sweet. Where does this take us? Oh, nope. This is good, this is good, this is what we want. We go this way and get an item as well, and then we go back the way we came, past Jess and James. Oh, we definitely got a switch. Let's go, Pig Knight. Time to melt some ice cream. Oh, ice cream is such a long time, I kind of fancy some ice cream now. We can, looking at that, just makes me want to eat it. Eat that ice cream right up. But let me know in the comments down below, what's, your, what's everyone's favourite ice cream? If you like ice cream, that is. I used to, growing up, I used to be a mint chocolate chip guy, and I'll be honest, the thought of eating a mint chocolate chip, I just, oh, I don't know, it makes me kind of feel a bit sicky, I don't think I can eat mint chocolate chip anymore. I think, I don't know, I'm either going to a cookies and cream, or like a chocolate fudge. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably go about chocolate fudge. Or cookies and cream, I don't know. I think right now it's one of the one of the two. I probably have to like just have a little taste test and try them both at the same time, then I can decide. Probably go on them. Oh, 
no Baldor, you're not going to be evolving. Pop that Max Repel, we got Aoife, sweet. All these Aoife's and stuff just going to be handful, or helpful when we uh, need to use them later on. Alright, oh, that's, wait a second. I thought that looked too suspicious. Nice. So I recently found a fossil. Ooh, what fossil did you find? That's not a fossil. I was assuming it had a fossil Pokemon, but I guess he just meant fossil, not like revived it. Ooh, got a little house here. Employees only, oh, okay. Guess we're not going in there. Uh, wait, have we been here? Max potion, sweet. Do you not want to battle? We work hard to clear up paths in the mountains, so that, so that see that cave down there? Working for some time to get it, get to it. Oh, okay. I feel like we must be very close to the end. Potentially the last trainer, maybe. Now, I forget the the town name. But we'll be at the where the seventh gym usually is, next to the. Like Dragon Tower. That's where N gets Zekrom Rusharam. I don't know what game obviously you're playing. Uh, let's go strike. If we can get a brick break off, that would be super nice. Good break! Nice, nice. And oh no. Fine, it's fine. Oh no. Stop, stop. <laughs> Alright, we good, we good. Alrighty. Icarus, is that Icarus City? So most of the city lives up on the ridge to avoid all the rain water we get. Not too bad. Every time I step outside there is water, I can never get away from it. If only I had more money. I gotta say, I, I love this town. If I woke, uh, woke, woke, I must say woke out my house, walked out my house, and it was all rain all the time, love it. I love walking in the rain, driving in the rain, smelling the rain. The rain's awesome. Do you know what's bad in the rain though? Snow. Oh, snow is so much better. So maybe I could just live in like eternal snow. Oh, the best. Ooh, that's the fire spin. Nice. And my air slash finished off. Nice. Ooh. Okay, so let's continue exploring. Okay, fire around here's the Pokemon Center. Uh, got this house, which is. Sky glittering with flowers of snow. Hi. The rainwater here washes down to the bottom. Glad I could afford to live above the hill. I mean, yeah, I guess good for you. There's a gym here, there's a cave. Let's go check out the fan club real quick. Um don't touch my dial. Oh I forgot! I was gonna get um Crocker Rock out of the gym. So the gym at the uh, the box and put it on the team. I totally forgot about that. Oh, that'd be so good to use. Who do I replace? It's got Moxie as well. Ooh, that'd be nice. Uh, I think I'm gonna replace Scraggy. I do like, I mean, I just trained up a lot. I just, I totally forgot about Crocorock until I saw that Crocodile inside the fan club. I kind of forgot about that. My bad. <laughs> hmm. So my Lavani is so elegant, I bet no one else around has one better. Oh, I do. You're a trainer, aren't you? Come see me when you beat the Jimmy. Oh, okay, we'll do that. 100%. Anything else to do in this town? Uh, don't let my husband worry worry you. He wouldn't steal from anyone. In fact, take this. Oh, Rage Candy Bar. Used to work for Team Rocket. I doubt you'd ever he heard of them. Got a glow. The boss was always wanting more. Oh. Okay. Then go up here to Route 8. Wait a second, does that take me where I think it takes me? Ah, I don't think the Dragon Tower is... Usually in the games you'd go like around this way to get to the next route and then up to get to the Dragon Tower. I think it's a great place to end this part off. Next episode we'll go get the 7th Gym Badge, most likely, and then um, yeah, go down Route 8 and see what's next. So thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace!